I thought of my future life as sort of an endless ocean with no real end in sight. But after all the cancer diagnoses telling me that I had a short time to live, my life felt more like I was jumping from one stone to another across a roaring river. When I had my first session with Mario Schnall at Yale Medicine, Hi, Jonathan. Hi. Hi, Mario. I had a history of melanoma and skin cancer, but he looked at my records and he said, you have approximately eight months to live. It's called skin cancer because it starts in the skin, but it behaves like any other aggressive cancer. It spreads to internal organs over a period of time, and that's what makes it dangerous. A lot of times when we go back in and we biopsy those lesions. Jonathan had been followed for initial treatment of a primary and regional melanoma. Initial staging at the time actually revealed that he had metastatic disease. All right, we should examine you. Take a Okay. Look and then we'll go over your scans and, uh, and then we'll see where, where... For people who have metastatic melanoma that do not get effective treatment, approximately 80% will die within two years and the median survival is in the range of around nine months. In fact, metastatic melanoma was considered one of the worst cancers that you could get. Deep breath. He was very forthright and he said, we believe in treatment. We don't just let people go. And he said, it's like playing soccer. Shots on goal is what we're after. You, you can't feel that note underneath the left axilla anymore, right? I've known Jonathan for eight years, although I only see him in the clinic. I consider him a friend. I consider most of my patients that way. What really turned the field around was really the development of another drug called anti-PD-1. You can see that even one of the most exciting immunotherapies at the time. An immune therapy works by activating immune cells in the body, lymphocytes, to target the cancer. And we had a lot of confidence that this drug might give him a prolonged life. You've become my life, and I was, I was concerned that you would just leave and leave me alone. Dr. Schnall, who is always something of an optimist, argued that there was a real chance for me to ultimately resume a normal life. I think I was, I was in love with you before <laughs> I even met you, just well, from our we correspondence. Just from our conversation. After a few months, I made a dramatic recovery. So it was really something of a miracle. I was a professor of biological anthropology at Temple University and had done lots of field work out in the South Pacific. <laughs> Having a terminal disease like metastatic cancer really changes your whole prospect on life. So that's what really made me decide to retire early. So now it's been two years after my major crisis. In many respects, I feel as though I have run the gauntlet of this very severe disease successfully. I've had a wonderful extended life. It seems very relaxed, sometimes maybe even a little boring but we know what we've been through together.